Nation people of YouTube, Facebook, and TikTok, welcome back to another episode of the Vilt Podcast. It is me, TJ, here once again, as always. And tonight, I have just a little, I guess you could call it an island update. It's not so much a tour since I, though I did a tour a couple of weeks back on Twitch. So this is for my YouTube people that watch me faithfully every week or whenever I do a new episode. I appreciate all of you guys so very much. It means everything to me. And so I just want to kind of do some Animal Crossing gameplay. Uh, not just necessarily an island tour. Uh, I will be playing a little bit too, updating some things. But uh, I recently got my Elgato HD60X up and running on my new Mac Mini, which is awesome. So this is also like a, just a casual test to see how I like the uh, video quality of the, of the caption and all that jazz. Uh, so far, it seems great. So that's a good sign. But yeah, I hope you guys are all doing well. Hopefully after last week's election, no matter what side you're on, you guys are feeling well, not too much anxiety, not too stressed, not too scared, depending on, again, what side you fall on, I don't know. But guys, please, for the record, if you are feeling stressed out and, um, you know, anxious, go ahead and check out Animal Crossing if you never have. Yeah, I forget a lot of the time that a lot of people haven't actually gotten into Animal Crossing ever. And for those of you that haven't yet, I'm telling you, it's one of those games that has that cartoon-like, kind of almost childlike art design to it. So a lot of people are like, eh, no thanks, until they actually play it. It is so addicting. Especially if you have any ounce of creative spark in you, if you're a creative person at all, you're going to love Animal Crossing. It's just so fun. And my first time getting into the franchise was not until once day of this game, Animal Crossing New Horizons, in March 2020. That was the first time I ever played any Animal Crossing game. And since day one, I was hooked. So... I love it. I really do. So, I'll give you guys a quick look at my lodge. This is obviously my home that I start out the game in. For those of you that are not familiar with Animal Crossing. As you guys can see, I already started decorating for Christmas in my lodge here. I thought this was kind of neat. I added like a little Starbucks area. I think it was like two weeks ago now. And this is the check-in desk. And if you know me, guys, I have constantly changed around my island. To me, that's part of the fun of Animal Crossing, is nothing has to stay the same. And this is my second island I've done. I've done an island once before, and I ended up denouncing it and starting fresh. I kind of regretted it at first, but now a while longer, or later I mean, I have actually been glad that I did so. So this is what I call the Seaside Buffet and Music because there's obviously a jukebox there, but it's also obviously a buffet. And I used the pirate ship sea theme for the wall, and I got a custom deck, um, uh, what do you call it, design QR code for the, for the flare. And so yeah, it's kind of like meant to be like, I have a deck that's surrounded by the ocean, and it's a buffet on it. So that's the seaside buffet. I thought it was pretty cool. And, of course, what good lodge wouldn't have not only a nice area to sit and relax, but, of course, a pool. So I have a pool area in here, and I'm trying to think what else I did. Okay, so I changed this around a lot too. Look, this is the pool area, and I have a little laundry area here with laundry machines. I have a bathroom area that you can kind of see, so it's kind of like hidden, like you'd hopefully have it in real life. <laughs> but 
that's the bathroom area. And yeah, this is the pool. I mean, it's not really ultimately true to real life, but that's just how I did it. I'm going to sum it up quickly just so this video doesn't drag on for too long, but I also want to show you guys at least my lodge. And I forgot to show you room one. I'll show you room one when I go back downstairs, but uh, this is my top room upstairs. This is like maybe you would call an executive suite. I don't know. But it has a hot tub in here. It has a nice, like, I forgot what they call that, a log. I think they call it something else. I don't know. But there's that. Obviously a log style bed. As you guys can see, I tried to go for like a rustic theme in my lodge. And I made every room equipped with a little kitchen area and a safe. I thought that was cool. And oh, the custom lamps are moose right there. There's the mooses, I don't know, is it moose or mooses? I never knew that, but that's the design there. And we'll show you room one. And this is the first room. I like how this came, this one came out too. Pretty cool. This is obviously meant to be like a one person room. And uh, that's that. I didn't put the stained glass ceiling lamps in this one, but that's okay. And that's it. Whoops, what am I doing in here? There we go. I thought this came out pretty nice too. Alright, that shows you that room. Do, do, do. And I showed you guys the seaside buffet already. So, we'll go down. Going downstairs. So down here is basically a two king size bed room. Again, with the usual stuff. With the built in kitchen. Oh, I, I did a little study desk in this room. I thought it was kind of cool. And I switched up the accent wall for this one. I don't know if that looks stupid. I might change it out in a day or so, but. I just experimented to that one. I know it kind of goes against the rustic being that accent wall does, but that's okay. I like it for the time being. We'll keep it for now. And that's that room. Okay. And don't ask me why I'm wearing 3D glasses. I just put those on the other day. I kept them on. So... I stuck some gas tanks over here in the roundabout. I don't know, I just figured my lives should have gas tanks. Now this I'm kind of proud of. At one time I had one of the, in, downstairs in my lives, I had an actual train station, but now I just have like these terminals, if you will, or like access points to get down to the train stations. But I have a few of these all around the island, as you'll see. I like how these came out, especially. Oh, I forgot to finish this. I was turning this back into a Duncan. It was the mall. So I'll wait to show you guys that next time. This is the shop. Let's see what's in the shop today. Anything good? Ooh, what's this today? Toothbrushes, candle. No, don't want that. A sign. I don't really have a need for that. Really? That's okay. And that's okay. Interesting, but nothing I need right now. See you later, Timmy and Tiny. Alright. Alright, what's next on the agenda, guys? Oh, I'll show you my taco now. But as I like to call it, taco snow. Because once you eat it, oh, there's a snow. <laughs> Especially if you're me. There's a snow after you eat taco now. So, Taco Snell, that's it. Nothing too crazy here. A little kiosk for ordering your tacos. So, that's Taco Now. And then we got. Oh, Leaf is here today. Oh, no thanks, Leaf. Alright, we'll talk to Leaf. Why not? 
Oh, hey -o. Isn't this the most perfect day to shop for flowers? And slugs, too! You're so lucky to get to on selling the beloved Holly! Oh, yeah, this is that season, isn't it? The Holly! Alright. So, I'm gonna say, here's a shot. Okay, so, I'm not. Uh, I guess I'll give it a couple. And we'll say, I would like five. Oh, thank you. You're welcome, Lee. Okay. Goodbye. 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 Alright. So we'll quickly go run through the rest of the island. I, I don't want to make this video too huge, but I just wanted to show you and go to you, get some delicious loot beer and some fried food. And another one of my uh, train stations here. I thought that was pretty cool. I found him with a big organ. So, so you can listen to some music. And benches and move out of my way. Come on. Alright, there we go. And this is my park. You can call it that, the park, I guess. I do, do a couple of Christmas trees in here. I thought that looked nice. Can't wait until we get snow in the game. And that's it. That. Oh, yeah, I should probably show you the other beach, too. Son of a beach. Alright, so then we have this. Do, 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 do. Statue of Liberty. And then we have this beach over here. Coconut. He took the line and he told me not to drink it all up. I said, Doctor! I'm sorry, I'm having too much fun, guys. Okay, so. Little ping pong action going on. I wish you could actually play the ping pong. That'd be cool. Like if you have friends on your island, you could actually play together. I'm, I'm not holding my breath on this, but I'm hoping maybe in the next Animal Crossing game, they really do stop the interactivity of the multiplayer mode. So you can do stuff like that. I think that would be sweet. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next island. Oh, excuse me, the next section of my island. Alright. We just have some cliffs there. Some waterfalls. You guys can see that. We got some food. Soft ice cream. Got soup. Some fruit. If you want some fruit baskets, you're probably thinking you are a damn fruit basket, TJ. And you would be right. I am. So, now, I'm missing the one wall. I don't know why I took that down. I think I was going to change it and I forgot to finish it. But, there's my three-sided castle with my throne. Don't judge me in my three-sided castle. I sit in my throne and judge you. Alright, so, here's the other train station. And my little tiny Barnes and Noble. So small, you can barely move around. But, we have some books if you want. And then the golf course is over here. And it's overgrown with flowers and weeds and all that crap. But it is a golf course still. Mini golf at that. Mini golf, technically. Because I tried to make it out to be a mini golf. But okay, I have a lot of stuff to do with this still, as you can see. Now, this used to be my six flags up here. But now I just made it into a nature preserve kind of thing with some camping area here, uh, picnic area here. So yeah, nature preserve. Um, then I'll show you where the carnival is now. It's not a six flags, it's just a carnival though. Uh, another train station there, a train, what do you call that? Train entrance there, I guess you can call it. This is still in progress, so don't mind that. This is like another parking area over here. Do, 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 walking out my front door. Sorry, I'm just singing. Alright, still got stuff to do over here. So it's kind of just like an island update. 
Uh, and my garden is over here. I got some pumpkins. I got some tomatoes, potatoes. I got potatoes, tomatoes. You know that, that viral video on TikTok with the lady singing it? I got tennis, 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 Anyhow, I got those. Um, and I have, uh, what is this? My carnival. There we go. And, yes, I did drink too much coffee today. No, I'm not on drugs, if you guys are curious. I'm not on drugs. I do not drink or do drugs ever in my life. Just coffee. That's all I do. Um, but there's a carnival area. I think that's pretty much done. There's not too much I have to do not left on that. And then we have another food stand over here. And did I, did I skip this? Yes, I did. Dang it. God damn it, stop skipping stuff, TJ. That's my, uh, my western voice, I guess. My, my redneck voice, I mean. But, um, TJ Dank, for doing all your thinking needs. Another fountain with some log benches. Oh, and the hospital! In case you get sick or die or something. There you go. Hospital, whee! Hospital. All right, now. Meanwhile, ow! Not a lot of walking room sometimes on this dang island. All right, and then we have over here, my concert area, where you can go party and listen to music and create music. Boom, 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 boom. All right. And then, now watch, I'm going to do this entire video and there's going to be no sound coming from the Alvado. I don't think there is because I changed it to my mug. But that's okay. You guys can just hear me loud away. Sorry about that. Okay, guys. I think we're going to leave it here for now to make sure this video doesn't get too crazy long. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, have a great day or great night, whatever it is for you. And please stay well. And if you like my content, please give me a follow, a subscribe, a thumbs up. No matter if you're on TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, doesn't matter. Just show your love to me if you like me. If you hate me, still show me some interaction of some kind. It still helps me out, actually. But thank you guys again, and please be well. Until next time, take care.